To sign up for Edmodo, simply click on I'm a teacher and type in your information. You'll need an email address to activate the account. Next, you can find your school by typing your zip code, the name of your school, or the town. You can choose to connect with other teachers from that same community or go to your home page. Once you have an account, it's time to set up your classes. Click on Groups and Create your new classes. You can select a grade or a range of grades. I teach ESL at the high school, so it will be 9 through 12, the topic of English or language arts, and then ESL. You can tell how many students are approximately going to be in the class and give a short summary of the class if you'd like. Now you'll need that code right there to give to your students. It usually has numbers and letters, so you'll want to copy that. And that's the code that your, your students will need to just have an account in Edmodo. I'm going to show you the most popular features here on Edmodo. The first one is Note. So if you want to tell your students anything, tell them to go to a website, show them a picture, you can use the Note option. Alert I'll usually use to remind them of an upcoming quiz or homework or project. The Assignment tab is really great. This is where you might go into more details um, and have them pass in papers or projects. You can select the due date. You can lock it so that students can't turn in late work. That's up to you. The next feature is creating a quiz. We use this a lot um, to take online um, open notebook quizzes. I'm just going to make one on um, science. So you have a multiple choice option, a true or false option, a short answer option where they can write a paragraph or a sentence. There's a fill in the blank option but you'll want to be sure to tell the students that they have to spell it correctly or the computer will, will find it um, incorrect. And there's a matching option. I'll show you what this looks like from the student's perspective in a little bit. You can randomize the questions if you don't want the students copying from each other and also choose to not show the results or show the results. Next you'll click on the date that you want them to take it by and write in the name of your class. Click send and it will upload to the students. You can also do a poll. Kind of a good conversation starter with the students. next thing I'm going to show you is the library, which is basically a, a place for you to upload your documents, um, either to save your own work as a teacher or to share with your students. I'm going to make a few folders here, PowerPoints, pictures, notes, and you have the option right there to you know, share it with the students or to just have it for yourself. And then you can just upload what you want into those folders. 
to use later. Here I have a picture of some notes that we took in class. You also have the option to add documents from your Google Drive. So if you're already using Google Drive, um, you can kind of sync those up. Now this is what um, the students would see if they were going to add your class to their Edmodo account. This is a fake student I've created. You can see I already have a few classes in there, but we'll add another class. So we click Add Group. Put in that code I told you about, and you're part of the class. So this is how they would take the survey. They'll see the results. I'm going to skip over the quiz for now and show you um, on the assignments. So here's that assignment that I uploaded for them. And this is how they would attach their file. So they could go anywhere in their computer double click, add the file, and also give you feedback as to how they felt the assignment was. Here's the quiz that I made. It's pretty easy to navigate through. And remember that I marked that they, they wouldn't be able to see their results right away. So we would go back in, grade them, and then they would see the results of their quiz. The students can also communicate with you, not directly to each other, but to you, the teacher, or to the whole class. For students to check their grades, they would click on the progress icon on the top of the page. And now I'm logging back in as a teacher to show you what it looks like when a student passes in a quiz. You can see here if it's blue, that means that you're required to grade it. Green is correct. And then you can also change the quiz options to have the students be able to see their grades. Let's go down to the assignment that the student passed in. You'll click over on the student's name, read their assignment, give them their grade. You can also, um, you know, give them a lot of feedback that way. And that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it.